Hey everyone, it's Avdut Athalle and this is my project presentation for the collaboration portal. In this project, I have used AngularJS for the front-end application and for the back-end, I have used Java programming language. And for the graphical user interface, I have used materialized CSS. So let's get down with the project presentation. Like here, you can see this is the landing page. Without the registration or the login, user is not allowed to serve the website so if the user is new he can register from here and if he is already a user or the member then he can log in from here so let's get down with the registration process i'm going to choose my username as chris11 i'm going to choose first name as chris and going to choose last name as hemsworth for the password i'm going to choose same as my username and re-enter the password for the email address i have already created email address which you can see here i am going to just copying it down and paste it here then i am going to choose birth date from the date picker 1983 august 11 then i am going to choose the gender male and after all the details has been submitted you can see enable button has been in uh, submit button has been enabled and the note here saying that user will not be able to log in only without the admin's approval which usually takes 24 hours time but in our case we are going to approve it now but before let's send the registration request and after the registration request has been sent successfully we should get a toast here here we go saying registration has been successful now if we try to log in with the same username and the password let's see what will happen here it's saying apparently your registration request is not approved yet okay so let's go and approve the registration request here i have already logged in with my account here you can see uh, this is my profile let the data load for the moment is going to take some time here we go so here is the role you can see which is the super admin and the super admin has the power to approve any user's request so if we go here we can see the registration request and this is the registration request which we just sent we are going to allow it and wait for the processes in the backend to complete this might just take some time and once it's done we should get a pop-up or the toast okay once that's done let's go here and refresh the page if we go here now we can see an email from the website saying the welcome to the code hub your account has been activated now let's go here and say try to log in from here now as you can see I have logged in and the data has been loaded completely from this profile of mine you can see various changes for instance you cannot see manage and request button here to the user because we are already registered or logged in as a user you can also see some changes here let the data load for the moment it takes time to come for the data from the backend here we go here you cannot see any role role of the user because it's already a user if it's say employer admin or the super admin then a role is visible here also two buttons of manage and request which you can see here are only visible to the admins and the super admins so let's see the interface here is the navigation bar here is the quick links of some stuff to view my profile to view my friends to create uh, to view my blogs created by me and so on then here you can see top five blocks these are all the you uh, blocks of the website arrange in the order of their views these are the top five blocks of the website with their views if we go to view all we should see all the blocks of the site then these are the top three forums which we can join 
let's go ahead and see things first but before let's change our display pic because it's not looking really good i'm going to choose the change photo option file let's go and ch choose this one and uh, change this here we go our display pic has been changed now here you can see my basic information which i submitted while registering here you can see i haven't created any blocks so this is why it's saying that you have not created any blocks once we make any blocks all of those will be listed here if i join any events those events will be shown up here and if i apply for any job those jobs will be shown here now let's go and explore our site these are the blocks of the site let's read this block top 10 online platforms to learn coding from now here you can see username of the user who has published this website uh, published this blog post date of the blog and you can see here likes and views it does not have any likes right now so we are just going to go ahead and like the like it like here you can see it has already got one like of our and we are going to leave a nice comment here nice one dude this blog is well written keep writing and we are going to post it So it took some time but our blog comment has been posted so let's go down to the home page and check out forums for instance I want to join this particular forum or thread like here you can see it's saying that you are not a participant of this thread join the forum to post and view posts of the others so we are going to go ahead and join the forum now here you can see the toast request to join the forum has been sent successfully and a new line is moving on here saying your request to join the forum has been submitted successfully and awaiting response from the admin after approval of which you will get full access to the forum so let's see from the log, uh, admin's perfect perspective from the request again we are going to go to the forums and uh, here we can see our request e, this is the name of the forum this is our username and this is the status we are going to go ahead and activate once that's done we are going to come here and refresh the page again now the page has been refreshed and here you can see some major changes for instance join forum or that notification line was now gone and here you can see a button for us to participate in a conversation thread as of now there are no posts for this thread so we are going to create post for this one very informative this forum is very informative too bad it does not have any post as of now and we are going to post this let's wait for a while there we go and our post has been added to the forum successfully let's go ahead and see jobs which we can apply for we are also going to create open our profile to the next window here you can see all the jobs which are available here i am interested if i am interested in this job i can see company name post and other details i can just click here and send the job application request now here you can see job application request has been sent successfully similarly i am going to participate in an event let's say i like this event so i am going to send the request no and the, i have already joined the event successfully unlike the forum 
uh, we don't have to send any request uh, we join the forum quickly so here we can see that our event which we have joined is appearing here and the job which applied for is appearing here now everything is set and done let's go ahead and create a blog as earlier i can say said that we are only the user of this website so we are not allowed to have forum of our own and create jobs or events only admin has the authority to do that and we can only join and participate in those we can only create blocks for which we also need admin's approval so we can we are going to go ahead and create blocks let's give this blog a nice title say is ios better than android and we are going to take some dummy text from here i copied it and i'm going to paste it here again paste it paste it and going to send a publish request now here we can see the blog we have created but there is also a line going on here which is saying the blog's approval is still pending only you can see this blog once admin approves the blog it will go online and you will be notified if we go to home now and uh, see our uh, blog has not got much of a view so our blog is nowhere to be find here but if we go here to view all we still will not be able to find our blog here because it it is not yet approved by the admin so we are going to go here once again and see the request for the blogs we have got here we should see all the requests which we have got for the blogs here is the request from the chris we are just going to go ahead and accept it and the blog is now approved now if you refresh the page we should be able to see our blog somewhere here this is the blog which we have created so we can go here and you can see the line which was going on here is now gone and we have already got our views and anyone can now like and leave a comment on our blog also in our profile if we refresh it in the blog tab we should be able to see all the blogs which we have created yet so far just wait for the data to come in it's going to take some time to fetch the blog and here we go it has fetched our blog and this is the blog which we have created so now let's go ahead and make some friends here is the look for friends button after clicking on which we see all the members of this site we can send any one friend request and chat with the user for now i'm going to send request to my other account i'm going to just click here and you can see that name for which i just sent friend request is now disappearing from here the main reason for this is because it's only showing the list of those users which i haven't yet sent friend request to now if we go here and see if our friend request then we should be able to see chris name here Let's wait for it to come and fetch the data and here we go we are going to approve it and if we go here we should be able to see chris name here now chris can also go here and see my name here if we go here then we can see uh, how many uh, friends of mine are online right now so we are going to go ahead and chat with this user same we are going to do from this side because we will need to open the window for that here you can see name of the user we are going to chat here and similarly here so we are going to start the conversation here hey chris 11 going to send it here and here you can see my message has been appear here and chris has also sent got our message Hello, thanks for approving my request. If you send it here, 
might take some time sometimes but yeah there we go here we also received the message yeah Chris too has got the message okay so this was about the chat now what we want to do is change the role of the Chris so what we are going to do is use the manage tab you can see here we are going to close this window and here we can see a manage here we, we can what we can do is manage all the blocks which we have already approved if a user doesn't feel certain kind of content on the block is not right or appropriate <coughs> excuse me he can go ahead and edit it or delete the block we can also do same with forums jobs and events and also we can change the user to uh, we uh, this is the uh, list of all the users of this website we can also change their roles now let's find the name of the chris which is here and we can assign him as employer and admin the main reason uh, difference between admin and super admin is that admin cannot manage or change the role of any user only super admin has the authority to do so that's the main difference between super admin and admin otherwise all of their functionalities are almost similar so we are, what we are going to do is create select the admin and uh, let's just refresh the page to make sure that his role has been changed successfully yes so role has been changed now what we are going to do is we are going to log out first and uh, log in again. So here I am going to log in again and now here you can see that there are now two options which are enabled as we are now admin that now we can manage blogs, forum, jobs and events and also approve the request for the same. If we go to view profile now, let the data load for the moment, wait for it and we should be able to see here, here we go, role as the admin. So that's how a super admin can assign more admin. In this particular website there can only be one super admin and as many admins as he likes. So this was my presentation for the projects. I hope you liked it. Thank you very much.